what up y'all welcome back to i guess this will be teeks week number 10 um today is sunday october the 25th um it's like super quiet in my mom's house i think my stepdad is here but my mom is actually at the store so I'm waiting for her to get here, but we are going live today for TZT Unlimited, so that's why I'm over here. So yeah, I have like my laptop and stuff, um, cause we go live on my laptop on Facebook. Um, and then I did go to Starbucks. I got me a Frappuccino, even though I don't need it because I still haven't got this tooth pulled yet, so that wasn't really a smart idea, but. Yeah, I tried to get a little bit cute today. But yeah, so I'm going to um, open up this package that I got from Amazon. Because I think it's some stuff for the nursery. Baby Tix's nursery. So I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. I think my stepdad is upstairs. But I don't even think he realizes that I'm here. Because I have my own key to the house. So, yeah. I don't even think he realizes that I'm here. I could be a whole bird. He wouldn't even know. He wouldn't even know. I'm going to try to see my address. Mm. I got a couple of different things from Amazon. Always, I've been ordering a lot of stuff off Amazon because I got a lot of stuff that I have to put in my hospital bag. Um, so, yeah. What is this? Oh, okay, so I got a tagging gun for me to tag my um, Thomas Takara pieces, clothing pieces. So I bought this because I have some um, clothing tags that I showed you guys in another video, which I'm going to link up here because I don't think a lot of y'all even seen it because it didn't get a lot of views, but... Um, so I got this off of Amazon because I needed that. I got, what is this? Oh, I got a staple gun. And it came with staples and gloves because, um, since my couch cover didn't fit on the couch, I'm going to have to buy some fabric and, um, open upholstery it myself um so yeah i got this because i want to get that done before the baby shower because i have people that are coming to stay with me and stuff like that so i got a staple gun so i can upholster my couch since my couch cover unfortunately did not fit What's this? oh milestone blocks for baby teeth um, once she gets here, I'm gonna wanna, like take pictures and stuff. They put it in a cute little bag. When I wanna take pictures and stuff, do her little photo shoots as she grows. Um, I have these little blocks, and I can change the numbers and the months and the days on them. Um, so cute. So it says one large block with weeks, months, years, grade, and then two number blocks. So this is like, yeah. So I can do four years. Or I can do four weeks. One week. I guess we would do this zero. Yeah. One week old. So yeah, these are gonna be for pictures and for her nursery. And I got white and gold. So that's cute. I'm gonna put all the links to the stuff that I got in the description box. They have like these little polka dots on them. I'm always unboxing stuff. I always get stuff shipped here for my PO box. Next thing I got was some soothing, cooling gel pads to put in my hospital bag for when I go to the hospital because I'm going to be breastfeeding. 
Um, and they said these are just good because after you have a baby, your, you know, your boobs get really big and sore. So these are just cooling gel pads for that, for, for your nipples. I got an exercise ball. So it's like a birthing ball. So like before I go into labor or while I'm in labor, I can have it. Or before me going into labor, I can have it so I can start, you know, prepping for labor. Um, it says it does have an inflation pump in it, so you have to pump it up. So I got this one. I got it in pink. I actually seen it from this other girl on Instagram. She actually recommended this. Um, and she was using it a lot before labor, so that's why I ended up getting it. And then the last thing I got... Well, they said everything in one big box was a belly casting kit. So I'm either... Probably gonna have my mom or um, probably me and Zell have Zell, probably me and Zell, um, him do a belly cast for me. So I bought the belly cast off of Amazon and it looks like this um, because I just wanna save my first bump. So yeah, this is really inexpensive. Um, it's super cute. So yeah, that's what I got. So that's all I got from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and work on some stuff, wait for my mom to get here, and then um, we're going live. We did get a bookshelf. I don't know if I showed y'all. A lot of new inventory in, but my mom did organize the bookshelf. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all. My mom got baby teeth some stuff. Some towels. She got her a diaper bag, which I'm gonna get her another one, but she bought her this little Mickey Mouse diaper bag. Super cute. But, um, yeah. She's been organizing, but my cousin actually bought us this shelf off of Facebook Marketplace. So my mom kind of organized it and it actually looks really cute. This is a lot of the new inventory we got. We're also doing, um, waist beads we just haven't put them on our website yet so we're also doing accessories of course y'all know we have the glasses um and then also the um bracelets i don't know where she put all the other bracelets but yeah so yeah this must be new or that must be something she got new but yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do. We got a lot of like scheduling to do because we have not really been doing a good job with like scheduling our posts and like getting posts up in a timely manner and just strategizing. So that's why I came over here a little bit early um, so we can plan out, we can schedule our stuff and then we can plan out our live for tonight as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for her, me and baby Teeks. And then we'll update y'all in a few. I got all my Nike Cortezes today. I got these from Ross. They're like super cheap. So yeah, y'all. I'll update y'all in a little bit. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Today is Tuesday, October the 27th. I hate coming on here with my hair is like not done and I'm looking like crazy. Um, but this is the real and the raw. I don't get dressed every day when I'm doing stuff at home. Um, I really be chilling out. I have on my God is Dope t-shirt that y'all probably seen in multiple uh, times in these Teeks weeks. Um, and then I just have on my sweatpants and I actually have on my, um, I actually have on my house shoes that I bought, um, the other day so I could put in my hospital bag. I actually need to stop wearing these cause I don't want them to start getting dirty. I want to take them to the hospital. I want them to be nice and clean. So, um, but yeah, uh, let me catch you guys up on 
what I did yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I think I vlogged Sunday. That's where we left off at. Um, yesterday, I didn't really have, like, too much of good of a day. Um, I kind of just really did a lot of, like, online shopping. I spent a lot of my time looking for a dresser for Baby Teeks' room. Surprisingly, um, it was really hard for me to find, like, a black dresser that I could put, like, a changing table on. Um, a lot of the dressers had bad reviews on them. Um, so yeah, but I ended up finding one on, I think, I believe I ended up buying it off Amazon or Target. I think I bought it off Amazon. And then I also wanted to get, um, kind of like a nine drawer, like, um, I don't know if you guys ever seen those like drawers that people put their makeup in, like the little makeup organizers that you see a lot of beauty girls have. I wanted to find something similar to that. Um, my Ikea is about almost two hours away. It's like an hour and 30 minutes away. Um, and Ikea charges like, they charge a lot just to ship their items. And because it being COVID, a lot of their stuff is like back ordered or you, if you order it, you're not gonna get it for like another month. And I was like, I wanna get, you know, stuff now so I could start putting stuff um, some of her clothes, washing her clothes and putting some, some of her clothes in her drawers and stuff like that. So I ended up finding this like, um, it's kind of like an office, office storage organizer, which even though the drawers are smaller, I don't really need big drawers, like I said, because these are baby clothes. So I can just, um, you know, use it and it, you know, her clothes aren't going to take up a lot of space. Um, so I did find that in black. Um, so I ordered that from Target. It's like an eight drawer organizer. I'll show you guys a picture of it right here. Um, and then what else did I get? I ordered some curtains for her. My mom said I got another package from Amazon. And then I know I have a bunch of stuff from Target that is going to be on the way here. I have some cubicles that I ordered for her. Um, nursery so I'm probably gonna do like a semi um, nursery tour or like nursery haul once I get most of her stuff um, because we haven't even surprisingly we haven't even started her nursery so yeah um, so I've been kind of like really stressed out about that you guys like getting stuff for her nursery and I've had all this time to get stuff done but i'm been like honestly as i'm pregnant like i really just been wanting to enjoy my pregnancy so all the extra is just like stressing me out i just really wish i could just sit back and not have to do anything extra but unfortunately it doesn't work that way you have to prepare for your baby to come so i did order that and then um i was trying to go back and forth on like um my event planner on who I was gonna get to do my baby shower. Um, so I'm still finalizing that. So you guys will probably see me tomorrow. Um, I have a Zoom call or I have a, I have a, uh, I have a consultation, a, se a second consultation with an event planner that I wanna, that I might book. Um, I have two that I'm like going back and forth with. So I'm going to talk to this lady first and then um, if I don't really like the ideas that this lady comes up with, I'll probably go with the other lady that um, I reached out to because she was saying that she can get stuff done too. And so I've been stressed out about that. I have a um, maternity shoot Sunday this weekend, um, Sunday, me and Zale. We actually are going to drive down to my grandparents' house um, Sunday and do our maternity shoot. But I'm just trying to decide on what I'm going to wear for my maternity shoot. I asked a lot of you guys on uh, Instagram. I asked you guys if I should do um, vintage or vintage glam. No, I actually I asked you guys if I should do a vintage vintage looks or like glam um, and it was like 50 50 so I'm probably just gonna do like a vintage glam like vintage glam or I'll probably end up doing two looks so like a vintage look and then like a glam look um so either way I, it's probably gonna be that um I really have the idea I know this is kind of cliche because I know a lot of people do like the robes like the sheer robes with like the fur on them and things like that but I just feel like it's like my style it's really like 
you know, like that old Hollywood glam um, look that I'm going for. So I don't have time to, I don't, I didn't have time to make anything. Um, like I said, I'm a procrastinator. That's one thing that I need to work on um, this year is, well, I've been doing a really good job, honestly, because I've been a procrastinator and actually comment below if you're a procrastinator too. Um, but my grandma has been in my head. <laughs> Um, as you guys know, my grandma passed, but my grandma has been in my head and has been telling me to get things done early. So I've been semi getting things done um, on time, like earlier in my pregnancy. But now, like, it's getting down to the wire and I'm realizing how much stuff that I have to get done. So um, I'm trying to find a robe that I can order because I know I'll probably only end up wearing it once um, and maybe wearing it around the house. So I'm just trying to find a robe that I can order um, to rock for this maternity shoot. And I want to get like some feathery shoes. Um, so I want to do, like I said, an old vintage look. Um, I'm not sure. They have a lot of different colors in the robe. But I just don't know if it's going to get here on time. They have like this really nice purple robe. Um, they have like blue, red. The red one is like really, really pretty. They have like a light purple, a pink one. Uh, this one looks grayish, like grayish white. Um, so they have a lot of different ones. I was thinking about doing black um, and having Zell wear black. And maybe, I don't know what color lip I'm going to do. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. So that's kind of the idea that I'm going for my maternity shoot. But we'll see um, if I don't get my outfit by like if i don't if i don't get my outfit soon i think i'm gonna maybe try to have glory push the maternity shoot back a little bit um maybe during the week the first week of november um and maybe zell will have to just get off early from work one day so we can go take pictures um so yeah oh i'm also wanted to show you guys um let me show you guys I'm also thinking about wearing, I need to get my food off of the, um, I'm also thinking about wearing this jacket. It's like a Chanel inspired jacket. Excuse my face, you guys, it look crazy. But it's like a Chanel inspired jacket. Um, it's actually one that I was going to put on my website, but I'm thinking about keeping it for myself because I'm like, I'll be finding vintage pieces. I need to keep some of these gems for myself to pass down to my daughter so yeah so i think i might rock this for the maternity shoot as well maybe with like i'm trying to find like a bra or something some type of bra maybe i'll order like a gold bra or something something that can come overnight or something that's within these colors to wear underneath it and then i was gonna order some feathery like pink little shoes to rock um but yeah, I haven't figured it out. You guys, it's really dark in here because one of our light bulbs went out. So there's a lot of things I need to do in our house too. But right now, I'm just cooking, you guys. I'm actually cooking. Um, this is like the first time I've cooked in a while. I'm making some mashed potatoes. That's some sweet tea. Um, well, the tea for the sweet tea boiling. I have my pan out because I'm going to be uh, making some steaks. Um, I need to get some cast iron skillets because... These skillets don't be making my steaks like how I want them to. And then I'm just making some um, broccoli. So, yeah. Steamed broccoli. I like to, like, um, put it on the skillet with, like, some vegetable oil and kind of have it, like, it'd be, like, kind of, like, what is it? Sautéed or whatever. And I add garlic, salt, and pepper. So, that is what I am currently doing right now. I finally got up um i just finally got up like today i was just not feeling it like i just was not feeling it um i woke up and zell was like what like asking me what was wrong with me yeah zell was like asking me what was like wrong with me but like i had like a really bad dream and then i've just been having like a lot of anxiety about like being like a first time mom making sure i'm like um doing everything um correctly like that i'm making the right decisions like 
I don't know, I just really be stressing myself out. And, like, my mom had to have, like, a little talk with me this morning. Like, she was like, you know, like, don't stress yourself out about the baby shower. Don't stress yourself out about, like, um, your maternity shoe and things like that. She was just trying to, like, tell me, like, don't be stressing myself out about that. Like, if I want to, she was like, I'm going to be a good, she was saying, like, I'm going to be a good mom. And, like, you know, I'm 28. Like, you know, um, you know, everything's going to be okay. Or whatever and I guess she was like you know she had these same you know thoughts when she was pregnant she was like and she was pregnant at you know 16 when she had my sister so you know she was scared too um and it's, I guess it's, she she basically told me it's just like a normal feeling she was like and my motherly instincts will probably uh, will start to kick in once the baby gets here she was like they probably already kick in and so yeah it was just a lot of things of just me wanting to make sure um, that I'm meeting my expectations, I guess. And just, yeah, like, I'm just like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So when it comes to, like, me having a baby and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, I want everything to be perfect. Like, this is the way that I want things to be. Um, and I know that can probably frustrate other people because I'm such a perfectionist and I have, like, these such, like, high expectations for myself and things you know, just dreaming of the way that I always visioned me having a baby and things that I wanted to be done. Um, so yeah, so it was just a lot of that. Um, and then just having a lot of like family members and like friends calling me and just being overwhelmed, you know, with, you know, baby shower planning and nursery setting up and doctor's appointments and hoping that she doesn't come early because I'm like I hope she doesn't come early because I feel like I don't have anything done um so yeah so it's just a lot of it's just a lot of that but um oh another thing I think I showed you guys that I have ordered my staple gun I also want to work on this couch as y'all know, I bought these couch covers, and I know y'all like, you always talk about this couch, but you haven't done anything. Well, I needed a staple gun. Um, I have two of these couch covers, but this one, like, slides on the couch, which is very annoying. And then the other one didn't fit the other side of our couch, so that's why you guys always see, like, that brown side, because and then, like, the little black sheet on our couch, because the other couch cover didn't fit on that other side. So... I want to try to uh, possibly cut the other couch cover to possibly get it to fit more. Um, if it doesn't, see, that's why I'm like, I don't know if I should staple gun it or not, or if I should just go ahead and go buy some green fabric um, from the fabric store and just do it completely over, just have it the right size. So that's another project that I need to work on. Um, in our house as well so yeah y'all so right now i'm just about to finish um and then i have a bunch of stuff i have to do for thomas tartar and tzt it's just very overwhelming so i'm about to finish trying to find my um maternity shoe outfit i'm gonna worry about my baby shower outfit too sometime this week but i'm gonna try to find my maternity shoe outfit and then um and shoes and stuff like that um, finish cooking so I can have that done because I have to run to the store and get some garbage bags some water because I'm like super dehydrated we don't have any water in the house and um what else do we need oh I need to get some milk to put in these potatoes so that's just that's just a little update um I'll I guess I'll update you guys in a little bit if not I will check in with you guys tomorrow um depending on how I'm feeling but yeah, y'all see what's going on right now. My hair is just in a bun. Not even perfect. Um, I need to finish packing my hospital bag. I'm probably giving you guys anxiety, so let me just... <laughs> ah, let me just stop. I can't. I can't. What is up, y'all? Today is Thursday, October the 29th. And as you guys can tell, I don't know what, what was the last day I talked to you guys. It might have been yesterday. Um, if not, it was probably Tuesday. But I'm feeling a lot better, as y'all can tell. I actually did my makeup today. And, 
you know i did my hair i actually got myself together because i'm going to make today a filming day i actually just posted my what to expect in your second trimester um video i actually posted that today so yeah that is up on the channel so you guys can definitely go check that out after you watch this vlog um yeah so like i said i'm feeling a lot better today versus you know earlier in the week um i did go ahead and chose my event planner i don't know if i told you guys that yesterday um that i actually had a video call with my event planner yesterday one of the event planners that i chose um and she basically like did like a whole full out like consultation um which i loved it was very very personal like her her delivery was very good the only thing that worried me about um letting her plan the baby shower is i i seen demos of what she was gonna do but i had another event planner <clears throat> whose work i had actually seen on facebook she had a lot of reviews like she just had a lot of her work on facebook and i'm somebody who works like off like i want to like visually see like something that you've done like a full event that you've done so the first event planner that i chose she actually like i said had a lot of her work on facebook like so i, I was like okay yeah like she's on point with her stuff and the second lady that my mom recommended, um, she didn't really have a lot of her work online or on Facebook. She didn't really have too many reviews that I seen. Um, but like I did say, I, she did give me a demo and her delivery was really good. Um, she did do a consultation with me to see like what I wanted. It was very, very personal. Um, the only thing that was missing for me is just seeing if she... It's just seeing her like her work like fully like like full out um like a full out baby shower that she's done so that's why i didn't end up going with her even though i love the ideas that she delivered to me um that was the only thing so i felt kind of bad i did tell her this morning that i was gonna go um another route um and then i did go ahead and uh let the other event planner know that i was going to work with her um so i'm like super excited to like see what she does even though she didn't do like a like a video consultation and stuff with me i don't know it's just something about her like my first instinct is like i just trust her um to be able to get it done not saying that i didn't trust the other lady but i don't know the first girl was just the first person that i wanted to go with in the first in in the first place and um my mom thought that the second lady that we reached out to was gonna charge a little bit less so that's why she was like well let me give you somebody else but they're both charging the same price for the same exact thing that i want um and i feel like i don't know i just felt like that i was like okay well if i'm gonna pay how much i'm paying for my baby shower to be decorated i might as well just go with the first person that i was gonna plan on paying a lot for if i'm not gonna get like no type of discount so yeah so that was that i did get that done yesterday um and today i'm gonna film i posted on my instagram if you guys don't follow me on instagram it's takara one i posted on my instagram asking you guys what should i film today um a fall prego lookbook or um a pregnancy clothing essentials and you guys said a fall pregnant prego lookbook i'm trying to get a lot of my like um pictures and stuff of my belly out of the way because like i said this little girl can come at any given moment so i just want to catch all the memories and i have not posted any fashion videos like any like fashion lookbooks or whatever while i'm pregnant and i'm like okay i definitely want to catch that mo the like the fashion stuff because that's what i do here on this channel so um i'm gonna go ahead and knock the out some a lot of fashion stuff th this week or this weekend um and then of course i have my maternity shoot so if i don't knock it all out this weekend um i'll probably do work on that next week of shooting more fashion stuff for um my channel so that i can have 
plenty of like photos, fashion photos, lookbooks and different outfits and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to get ready to do. I already have my outfits picked out. I did get some coffee and I think I'm going to spend like an hour shooting as many looks as I can. Go get lunch and then maybe try to come back um, and shoot the rest. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some of the packages and stuff that I got too later. Because I did get some of the stuff that I ordered online in. So I'll show you guys that. But I'm feeling, like I said, a little bit better today. I need to diffuse my hair out real quick. I am feeling a little bit better. Like I'm slowly but surely getting things done. Um, the baby shower stuff is out of my head. So that's good. Um, I do need to go ahead and make the invitations though. So that I can send those out. But most of the people that I know that are coming from out of town already pretty much know about my baby shower. But of course, I'm going to send out a um, formal invitation. So, yeah, you guys, let me go ahead and get to work. I don't want to waste any more time um, because it's already almost 1 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to work. And I will see you guys in a few. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's a little bit later in the day. It's 5 o'clock, I believe. Um, I just got done attempting trying to film. Um, I think I'm going to try again tomorrow because I'm not really feeling it. I don't know. I'm just not like feeling the looks that I filmed. Um, yeah, I'm just not happy with the looks. I do have some other looks planned out that I want to uh, do instead because um, I'm just not feeling it it's not giving me fall vibes it's just I'm not I'm just not feeling the looks that I'm filming um, or it's either that or I'm just tired because I plant the looks and then I tried to film then I got dressed all in one day and usually when I do that I just don't feel like filming so that's why I always like to plan out my looks the day before and then film them so that way I'm not like tired from doing my makeup doing my hair and everything like that and planning out the looks and filming all in one setting so tonight I'm going to film out, out my looks and get a little bit more excited about them um, my hair is already done so tomorrow I'll just have to let my hair down it won't have to I won't have to wait until it dries and stuff um, and then I could just go ahead and basically just do my makeup real quick and bust out the looks um so yeah hopefully tomorrow will be a better filming day because today just wasn't it um i'm probably about to go run and get me some food um or get me and zell some food because he's probably going to be on his way home and clean up our room since i have like all my clothes and stuff laid out and everything like that i know he's going to be trying to come home and take a shower and get in our room and stuff like that so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up real quick and then probably run out and go get us some food. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, it's been, like, storming really bad. This morning, like, our power went out. It was crazy. I forgot to tell y'all that our power went out. Um, it was, like, pitch black in here. It was crazy. Um, but, yeah, that did happen this morning. So, yeah, but the power is back on now. But, um, obviously. But... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I guess I'll hit y'all up in a few. What's up, y'all? Today is Friday, October the 30th. Um, I just did one look today. Um, I'm getting more tired by the day, you guys. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to film one look, knock out one look, and then tomorrow I'll film uh, maybe two more looks depending on how I'm feeling and try to knock out two more looks because I realized that as I've gotten bigger that I am just like not able to like knock out like full like a full seven looks in one day like I usually um and able to so i'm gonna try to pace myself and do it day by day or at least say like oh i'm gonna shoot two looks today two looks tomorrow uh maybe two looks the next day and then i'll have a full like six looks um because when i do it in a full 
uh, or try to I burn myself out because I'm trying to take pictures and I'm trying to do video at the same time so yeah so um I just did that and I had planned out a couple of more looks and I do need to order a few more things um I am going out today uh with Zale we're gonna go do a little bit of house shopping he just called me and asked me um if I wanted to go and do some house shopping get some stuff for the house so gonna do that um and so while i'm out maybe if i find like some shoes and stuff because i i noticed that i need like new fall pieces um to like do my fall lookbook and stuff like that so might go out and pick up a few things um while i'm out but that's pretty much it i'm about to get ready to um i guess go out with him um probably just gonna leave this outfit on because it's comfortable um and probably just like dress it down with some type of shoes or something because i know it's probably cold outside and um yeah that's pretty much it so i guess i will holler at y'all in a few